Okay, so the other day, um, Julie unhooked the whole dash and was able to get all the dash out. So we've got it here. Just gonna give it a good washing. Actually, Ashton's gonna wash it. Ashton is over here washing the dash. I'm gonna start mixing up Bondo for filling in these uh, rail ends. One thing about Bondo is that you have to apply it almost instantly because it sets up so fast I'll correct it at lunchtime, okay? Okay. This is the school I'm working on. It's teaching me how to write my letters properly. All right, after peeling the stickers off of the rear of this bus, um, it left this really bad, like you can see here, sticky residue, and it's super hard to get off. So we tried using acetone to um, loosen up the glue and get it off, and it, it was taking the paint off. So then it made it even more difficult. You're trying to scrape and the paint's coming off with the glue and the sticker and it's evaporating too fast. So we got us a bottle of Goof Off. And I'm actually super impressed with how well this works. Like literally the glue kind of just melts off. It's like the hardest part is like maybe wiping the glue that gets all balled up at the end here. So yesterday, um, the boys and I got up on the roof and we washed it all down. Um, and then I installed these metal <clears throat> pieces here um, to cover up our old roof fence, so I'm gonna have to put some spray foam over this or, or put some foam paneling, something like that. And so the roof is pretty much ready for um, paint. And we're, we're actually not gonna do traditional paint, we're gonna do some stuff we found at Home Depot. Hi, we're here. We're here at Home Depot just getting some paint supplies. Okay, so we were going to buy the, um, what was it? The Rust-Oleum. Um, a white gloss paint and we purchased it and then we thought hey. we were like I, we've heard about some other stuff and I think some of you even commented about this stuff that is like heat reflective and sun reflective and so we found this right here no Which, primer needed no either. primer needed it is a ultra siliconizer um, it's professional grade. It says no primer needed. It um, is 78% sun reflective. Let's see here. Keeps interiors cooler, reduces energy costs, and it's for RVs. It actually says it on the can. And it only covers 50 square feet. Well, I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> We've actually got our Toilet sitting in here, right here. 
just to kind of give us an idea of where everything's gonna go. And we're kind of working on the shower stall right now because we want to have as much room as our shower stall without encroaching on the rest of the bathroom. So we're just kind of figuring that out because we're probably gonna tile all this in here. some of our studs and rip them down so they're about two by one and a half inch each and then we have two of them stacked one on top of another. We will build the mortar up so it has a slope and then we'll tile this, this ledge here. So yesterday I filled all these ends in here with um, Bondo. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand those down and see how they look. So we're almost done with our first coat. They recommend two coats of this stuff using a heavy nap roller. Um, so the first coat is gone down. It's very, very white. As a matter of fact, I, when we got done washing the roof of the bus, I'm like, oh, the roof of the bus is really white. And then when I'm applying this stuff, you can kind of see the contrast here. It's more like of a yellowy color compared to how bright white that is. So we'll apply one more coat and not tonight, probably tomorrow or the next day and then we'll be done with the roof. Mm -hmm. 